Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on. We pretty much have everything for you right here. So before we get into some NHL action for February 8th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section. Again, it has everything that you need to make your picks successful. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games for February the 8th. It's not a real huge uh, schedule, but we have a few games we want to look at. The Columbus Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals is first on the list. The two mid-level Metropolitan teams meet here in this matchup. The Blue Jackets are ice cold down. They're three and three on their, or excuse me, they're two and four on their last six. And the Capitals are averaged down, and they are three and three over their last six. See, the Capitals are a favorite of 1.40 to 3.3, so a substantial favorite. And the score prediction, though, interestingly enough, has Columbus with a 4-3 win, but it's only 51.6% level of confidence. So take a look at that closer as it gets to the uh, near the game time, maybe like 24, 48 hours ahead of game time. If you look at the over-under, you can see in five of the last six games, the Blue Jackets have been in games over the line. And Washington, four out of the last six games over. So it's a good indication that this will be a high-scoring game. I like the over in this one. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you see that Washington is at plus 24 and Columbus is at plus 13. How stable have the two teams been? Are they performing consistently uh, with regards to their favorite underdog stats? You see here that Columbus is at plus 14, really very stable. Washington, moderately stable, but not as much at plus 5. I'm looking here at a Washington Capitals win. I really don't see how Columbus can really take this one. Washington is a huge favorite. I like Washington at home in a game probably about two or three goals and in a game going over the line. New Jersey and Montreal. We're going to take a look at this one. Pittsburgh and Boston. The Penguins come in third in the Metropolitan Division and the Bruins are fourth in the Atlantic Division. You see, Pittsburgh has not been playing well lately. They have lost their last four, and they're two and four over the last six. And the Bruins have been playing moderately well. They are three and three over the last six. They are average stats compared to ice cold down for Pittsburgh. The Bruins here are a slight home favorite with odds of 1.872 to 2.076. The power rankings indicator shows that both teams are on a little bit of a downward trend here. You see that. Pittsburgh was at plus 30 back on January 27th, and they are now plus 24, while Boston is sitting at plus 17. The stability factor, if you look at the volatility oscillator, again, both these teams are pretty stable, although Pittsburgh has dropped over the last few days. That's probably because they are on that losing trend, and they were favorites in some of those games, so they're at plus 8 compared to plus 14 for Boston. The score predictor has... Boston in a narrow margin of win, 3-2, to two, with confidence and prediction of about 55%. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Pittsburgh has been over in the last two. Same with Boston. I'm kind of leaning towards the over and under as far as going over the line. And I do like Boston to win at home in a tight contest, perhaps even going into overtime. Minnesota and Winnipeg. The Wild are burning hot. You see that they have won their last six contests, and each one of those six games has gone over the line, so they've been putting points up on the board. And Winnipeg is dead status at the moment. They're just one and five over their last six. And But they have also been involved in games going over the line, so I like the over in this one. The score prediction has a total of six goals, with Minnesota winning four to two, but the confidence in prediction is uh, less than a toss of a coin. It's at 45% at the moment. But you see that Minnesota is a road favorite, the odds of 1.765 to 2.228. On the power rankings indicator, Minnesota is steady at plus 28 over the last few days. And Winnipeg up from plus 6 and they are now at plus 10. If you check the stability factor, again, you see Minnesota is on the rise at plus 15. They are very consistent at the moment. And Winnipeg has dropped down some, and they are now at plus 7. So take that into consideration. Considering that Minnesota is very stable, and they are a road favorite, I do like Minnesota in this one. I believe this will be a high-scoring game, and I like the over. 
Vegas and Edmonton. Pretty good matchup. I'm not really going to examine that one today. We're going to look at this one here, the Coyotes and the Canucks. Here's a game with two teams going nowhere, but it's kind of an interesting matchup nevertheless. Um, Coyotes had the worst record in the NHL. They are dead status, but, and they are 1-5 over their last six. And Vancouver's ice cold down. They are just 2-4 and four over their last six. Um, you notice, though, that they are still a pretty substantial favorite, uh, 1.485 to 2.928. And the score prediction, you can see there, they're looking for a very high-scoring contest at 5-4 to four for Vancouver with a confidence in prediction of 70%. If you look at the over-under, Vancouver has been trending in games over only twice, two and four over the last six, and three over and three under for Arizona in their last six. I do feel like this is probably going to be a pretty high-scoring contest. So let's look at the power rankings indicator, and you see here that neither team is very high. And naturally speaking, uh, considering how well they've been playing lately, Vancouver at plus 12, and Arizona is at plus 1. Here's the thing to really look at here, the stability factor. Arizona, plus 22. I haven't checked all the teams in the league, but I'm guessing that this is probably among the top, if not the top, in stability in the league. Why? It's because they're underdogs most games, and they're losing most games. And that's really the reason. And Vancouver is at plus 9. So I think that this trend will continue. I don't really think that there's much of a chance for Arizona to win this game. I like the game going over the line, and Vancouver to win by at least two goals. So there you have it. Those are the games for February the 8th in the NHL. Happy betting, and we'll see you again next time.